today we shall be talking about certain questions relating to allegation we have already uploaded a video regarding the concept of allegation today questions will go ahead now the first question states that in what ratio must a grocer mix two varieties of pulses one costing 45 and the other costing 60 per kg respectively so as to get a mixture at the rate of 49.50 per kg so a grocer has two types of pulses one costs 45 and the other costs 60 he is mixing them and selling the mean price is given 49.50 the question is in what ratio must he mix the two varieties of pulses so we will make a basic table the cost price of one unit of the cheaper variety 45 the cost price of one unit of the dearer variety 60 rupees mean price is given to you at 49.50 here we get d minus m that is the cheaper quantity this means 60 minus 49.50 this is 10.50 and here we get m minus c 49.50 minus 45 gives you 4.50 so we shall be now making the ratio the formula goes cheaper quantity is to dearer quantity is equal to d minus m is to m minus c so putting in the values the quantity of the cheaper commodity and the quantity of the dearer commodity comes out to be 10.50 upon 4.5 which is 7 upon 3 and the answer is 7 is to 3 this is what we were asked the ratio and this is the answer very simple question it is now the second question states that in what ratio must 25% alcohol be mixed with 50% alcohol to get a mixture of 40% alcohol strength when we talked about the concept of allegation we told you that these three items they should be in the same unit if you are taking percentage then all the three things should be in percentage if you are taking rupees they have to be in rupees and so on so in this question we are talking about the percentage the cost price of the cheaper commodity is 25% alcohol and here dearer is 50% alcohol and the mixture is 40 which is the mean price going on the same terms d minus m which is the cheaper quantity comes out to be 50 minus 40 it is 10 and here the dearer quantity is 40 minus 25 which is 15 putting in the values in our standard equation ratio form we have quantity of the cheaper commodity upon the quantity of dearer commodity 10 upon 15 which comes out to be 2 is to 3 so the question was asking the ratio in which the alcohol is be mixed and the answer is 2 is to 3 Question number 3 states that in how many kg of salt at rupees 10.50 per kg must a man mix with 25 kg salt at 6 rupees per kg so that he may on selling the mixture at 10 per kg gain 25% on the outlay now what you have to keep it in mind is that one quantity one type category of salt is 10.50 is the cost price and the other category of salt is 6 per kg another category of salt so this is the expensive salt and this is the cheaper salt so this we fix here cost price of the cheaper unit 6 cost price of the dearer it's 10.50 it's very clear to you now the next question is 6 per kg hai na he may on selling the mixture at 10 per kg so this 6 we got it and this 10.50 also we got it he is giving you the selling price of the mixture at 10 so this is the cost price this is the cost price this is not the cost price so this 10 cannot be fit here you have to calculate the cost price and then this can be fit because here you are taking the cost here you are taking the cost you cannot fit the selling price here generally the students will do this mistake be very careful this is the selling price so it cannot fit in our table so first of all you have to calculate the cost price of the mixture how will you calculate it let the cost price of the mixture be x selling price is given to you 10 gain given to you 25% so very simple formula cost price is 100 sp upon gain plus 100 plus gain percent okay so it is 100 into 10 this 10 selling price given to you 100 plus 25 answer is 8 so now this is the cost price of the mixture which you will fit in this formula once you fit this 8 in the table the rest question is very easy what you will do is next is 10.50 minus 8 gives you 2.50 8 minus 6 will give you 2 fill in the values quantity of cheaper commodity upon quantity of dearer commodity so the ratio you are getting is 2.50 upon 2 okay clear now 
what is the question you are not being asked the ratio you are being asked how many kg of salt at rupees 10.50 you have to calculate the quantity of the expensive salt okay so what we will do is you are getting the ratio cheaper upon dearer hai na if the dearer uh, sorry if the cheaper is 2.50 then the expensive one is 2 If the cheaper is 2.50 from the ratio, expensive one is 2. So applying the unitary method, they have given you 25 kg of salt. The cheaper one quantity is given to you. You have to calculate the quantity of the dearer price. So what it will be? 2 upon 2.5 multiplied by 25, which will give you 20 kg is your answer. Next question: Five liters of water is added to a certain quantity of pure milk, costing 60 per. liter so this is the expensive uh, brand of milk which is costing you 60 and the other thing is the cheaper quantity that is water cheaper commodity is water and the cost price of water is taken as zero okay so 5 liter of water is added to certain quantity of pure milk costing 60 per liter if by selling the mixture at the same price as before uh, this means that you are selling the mixture at 60 per liter just as i told you in the previous slide you cannot fix the selling price here here you have to calculate the cost price so how will you calculate the cost price is the first question let us read the whole question if by selling the mixture at the same price as before a profit of 20% is made then what is the amount of pure milk in the mixture you have to calculate the amount of pure milk okay now let the cost price of the mixture be x so it is given to you that 20% is the profit so you will write x plus 20% of cost price which is 20 upon 100 into x this is 6 upon 5x is equal to what 60 because you are selling the mixture at rupees 60 which is mentioned in the question so 6x upon 5 is 60 so x is equal to 50 so this is the cost price which is the mean price you will put put in this table rest answer is very simple now d minus m is 10 because 60 minus 50 is 10 m minus c is 50 minus 50 sorry 50 minus 0 which is 50 okay and now you put in the standard form quantity of the cheaper commodity about the quantity of the dearer commodity it is 10 upon 50 is 1 upon 5 now what question is being asked to you they are not asking you the ratio they are asking you what is the amount of pure milk in the mixture pure milk here means the expensive uh, item so as per this ratio if the cheaper one is 1 hai na then the dearer one is 5 now if the cheaper one is which is given to year 5 then what is the dearer one it is 5 multiplied by 5 which is 25 liters you will be applying the unitary method here and your answer is 25 liters question number 5 states that alcohol costs 35 per liter and kerosene oil costs 25 per liter so very simple cost price of the dearer fits here 35 cost price of the cheaper fits here 25 in what proportion what are you asked the ratio is being asked in what proportion should these be mixed so that the resulting mixture may be 27.5 per liter so you are already given the mean price here 27.5 very simple 35 minus 27.5 comes out to be 7.5 27.5 minus 25 comes out to be 2.5 and you you very well know this formula quantity of cheaper commodity upon quantity of dearer commodity it is 7.5 upon 2.5 which is 3 is to 1 so the ratio of kerosene is to alcohol is 3 is to 1 which is the required answer a question says that a cup of milk contains 3 parts of milk and 1 part of water how much mixture must be withdrawn and water substitute in order that the result a mixture may be half milk and half water let us understand the question first there is a cup of milk which has 3 parts of milk and 1 part of water now what we are going to do is we are going to withdraw certain quantity of mixture in it and put water in the same mixture so that the net effect is half milk and half water now the question is how much mixture will you withdraw how much mixture will you take out and the same quantity water will be put in so how will we solve this supposingly the vessel initially had 8 liters of liquid of which 3 parts water 3 liters is the water and 5 liters is the milk which is given in the question so water is 3l and milk is 5 liters suppose x liters of this liquid will replace with water this means you are taking out x liters of this liquid and you are adding x liters of water now 
the question is what is the water in the new mixture see uh, originally water in 8 liters is 3 liters we know this applying unitary method water in 1 liter is 3 upon 8 and water in x liters because you are taking out x liters so water in x liters is 3x upon 8 so water in the new mixture will be 3 original minus 3x upon 8 which is the water in x liters so water in the new mixture will be 3 minus 3x upon 8 plus x why is this plus x because you are adding x liters of water so the water in the new mixture you have to write here plus x please don't forget your answer is 3 minus 3x upon 8 plus x now the milk in the new mixture similarly milk in 8 liters is 5 liters milk in 1 liter is 5x 5 upon 8 and milk in x liters because you are taking out x liters so milk in x liters is 5x upon 8 so the milk in the new mixture will be original 5 minus 5x upon 8 it is given that the resultant milk and water is the same so this equation will be equated with this equation so you will write 3 minus 3x upon 8 plus x is equal to 5 minus 5x upon 8 you will solve this equation and you will get x is equal to 8 upon 5 now the question is how much water how much mixture will be withdrawn so you will write that part of the mixture replaced is 8 upon 5 into 1 upon 8 because the total mixture is 8 so how much part have you replaced 8 upon 5 into 1 upon 8 which is equal to 1 upon 5 therefore the mixture replaced which is the answer is 5 1 upon 5 so here we come to the end of the article for today if you have any doubts regarding this please ask me in the comment section if you want to give me such suggestions more than welcome write in the comment section please like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching stay safe stay blessed